Hey, welcome to the Grace of Thrones if this is your first time. If this is not welcome back, I do appreciate your support. So at this time, I'm going to continue the seven spiritual laws of success. We are on to number four, okay? So the law of least effort, all right? The fourth spiritual law of success. The law of least effort is based on the fact that nature's intelligence functions with effortless ease. With carefreeness, harmony, and love, this is the principle of do less and accomplish more. Sounds good to me. <laughs> when we learn this lesson from nature, we easily fulfill our desires. If we observe nature at work, we see that the least effort is expanded. Grass doesn't try to grow, it just grows. Fish don't try to swim, they just swim. This is their intrinsic nature it is the nature of the sun to shine and it is the human nature to make our dreams manifest into physical form mm. easily and effortlessly what is commonly called a miracle is actually an expression of the law of least effort okay Least effort is expanded when our actions are motivated by love because nature is held together by the energy of love. When we seek power and control over other people, we spend energy in a wasteful way. When we seek money for personal gain only, we cut off the flow of energy to ourselves and interfere with the expression of nature's intelligence. We waste our energy chasing the illusion of happiness instead of enjoying happiness in the moment. Attention to the whims of the ego consumes the greatest amount of energy. But when our internal reference point is our spirit, our actions are motivated by love and there is no waste of energy. Our energy multiplies and the surplus energy we gather can be channeled to create anything we want, including unlimited wealth. When we harness the power of harmony and love, we use our energy creatively for the experience of affluence and evolution. How can you put the law of least effort into action? Hmm? There are three things you can do the first thing is to accept people, situation and <laughs> situations and events as they are, not as you wish they were in this moment. This moment is as it is, should be, because it took the entire universe to make this moment. When you struggle against this moment, you struggle against the entire universe, okay? You can intend for things to be different in the future, but in this moment, accept things as they are. The second thing is to take responsibility for your situation and for all the events you see as problems. This means not blaming anyone or, any, or anything for your situation, including yourself. So don't go ahead blaming yourself now. Responsibility means the ability to have a creative response to the situation as it is now. All problems contain the seed of opportunity. Wow, sirens, I'm gonna repeat that again. All problems contain the, seed, the seeds of opportunity. And this awareness allows you to take the moment and transform into a better situation, all right? If you do this, every upsetting situation becomes an opportunity for the creation of something new and beautiful. Every tormentor or triumph becomes your teacher. Mm. <laughs> the relationships you have attracted in your life are precisely the ones you need at this moment. There is a hidden meaning behind 
all events that is serving your own evolution. And if you choose to interpret reality in this way, then you will have many teachers and many opportunities to evolve. A third way to put the law of least effort into action is to practice defensivelessness. This means relinquishing the need to convince others of your point of view. By doing this, you gain access to enormous amounts of energy that you have previously been wasted. When you have no point to defend, you stop fighting and resisting, and you can fully experience the present, which is a gift. <laughs> okay, when you embrace the present, you begin to experience the spirit within everything that is alive, and joy is born within you. As you drop the burden of defensiveness and resentment, you become lighthearted. Mm -hmm. You need that for manifestation now. You need a light heart. Y'all and the light mind, joyous and free. In this joyful, simple freedom, you will know that what you want is available to you whenever you want it. Uh, because your want is coming from a state of happiness, not from a state of anxiety and fear. The law of least effort assures us that there is always a simple, natural path to fulfillment doesn't have to be hard honey excuse me all right so nature's intelligence unfolds spontaneously through the path of least effort and no resistance this is the way that you can live too when you combine acceptance responsibility and defensivelessness your life flows with effortless effortless ease your dreams and desires flow with the nature's desires or with nature's desires, then you can release your intentions without attachment. And when the season is right, your desires will blossom into reality. Hear the sirens, that's confirmation, okay? To so experience the law of least effort, accept people, circumstances, and events as they are in this moment. When confronted with any challenge, remind yourself this moment is as it should be because the entire universe is as it should be. Take responsibility for your situation without blaming anything or anyone, including yourself. Every problem is an opportunity to take this moment and transform into a greater benefit. Relinquish the need to defend your point of view. In defensivelessness, you're, you remain open to all points of view, not rigidly attached to one of them. All right, so I have three meditation cards. The first one, meditate before the message here, but for this message, is walk. All right, so go for a walk, my dear. This is simply one of the best ways to relieve stress. Don't run or even walk very fast. Just walk and breathe deep from the abdomen, allowing your blood to course through your body, okay? And then some self-love, of course, right? I will not worry or focus on becoming a better person. Instead, I will focus on being loving, kind, and the mindful person that I am. So you're a mindful person. You're a loving person. You're already kind. Just keep being you. Pull more into you. Breathe, walk, and be proud, all right? After the day is done, take a few minutes to review your day. What were your accomplishments? What meditations worked for you? And be proud of yourself for making the day happen. Okay, let's get a quick affirmation together here. All right, it's time to be adventurous. Today I am adventurous. Today I will get out of my comfort zone and try something I never tried before. Today I will not compare, I will not compare myself to others. I will find true peace in my own life. You will find true peace in your own life. So keep the focus on you. Today, I'm ready to receive love. Are you ready? Today, I'm open to being loved by another healthy person. So, I, I, I definitely feel like you're raised and, you know, and open to being loved by another healthy person. Right? It's always a good thing. All right, today is going to be the best day ever. Put that out there every day when you get up and accept confidently that life is happening for you in this moment. Be blessed and be well. Don't forget to buy shit.